Torque Tool Manager 4.0 Calibration Database. It's 30 bit Richmonts and ISO 17025 accredited calibration lab. We are also a reference and a pivot lab. We created Torque Tool Manager 4 to make managing many of the processes in a cal lab much faster and easier for the management team and also for the technicians. Before we get into how the system works, it's important for you to know what the system can do for you. We're going to review some of those things right now. Torque Tool Manager 4 will manage all of your tools and the inventory. It'll help you track calibration dates, when it was last calibrated, and what's next. It'll help you track by asset number. Do you have tools that are inactive but still need to be tracked? The database can do that for you. It can also help you schedule and plan so that you know how many tools and what kind and when they're coming. It also helps you keep track of the calibration on your torque testers and the transducers that go with those testers. It allows you to assign staff members different levels of responsibility and different tasks. We're going to start with the login. Every user should have their own ID and their own password so that they can log into the system. As the management team, once you're in, to manage this process, go to security, and click on user management. This brings up the database of those that are already resident in the system. If you want to add someone new, you click on insert. Click on insert and it brings up the uh, update user tab. Enter their names, the login code. Work group is, is tied to the user group. And if you can see down here in the user group, you can set things up so that they can set up and test. Some operators, perhaps you only want them to test only. Some people could be responsible for tools, tester setup and testing. And then the supervisor, the manager, should have unrestricted access. So this gives you a complete way to control who can do what at any time. The other thing is, is let's take a look at a change that we might want to make. We're going to take a look at Tom Hawkins. We click on change. We bring him up. And group level two, that's not right. We're going to change him to test only. And so that brings up his ability. He's test only. Click OK and away we go. So we're going to close this. So that's, so it's security, user management. That allows you to really effectively manage the staff uh, tasks and responsibilities. Let's go over here to tools and testers. Tools and test, it starts out we can look at past tests. We can look at the tool schedule, and here right now we have one tool in this database. Um, it was entered July 15th, and the next test date is scheduled for 9-13-20. This ha here's our serial number, happens to be a PM5. We've got a cross-reference number and a description. So let's leave that, we're just gonna close. And then we're going to go over here, back to tests, and we're going to go to the new tool wizard. And this is important because if you're, when you're adding tools, it's important that every, the people who do this work get it and get it right. In this particular case, it starts with the serial number, and we're going to go through this real quickly. This is 152. 33097. This is an exact torque. It's an exact torque. So cross reference number. Description this is an adjustable torque screwdriver. The manufacturer is Sturdivant Richmond. This happens to be a 100 inch ounce. Click your units to measure. Torque screwdrivers are plus or, or minus 6%. This one works in both directions, so we put that in there. We're going to give this test, when we test it, we're going to give it five tests. And we're going to test it at three points. 
and it is a torque screwdriver we need to put that in there and we've gone ahead and we do that now we'll see if we go over here to the uh, inventory we'll see that we've added this exact torque now here's what's interesting in all of this this happens to be if you look at the numbers this is a we entered a duplicate by sorting on the serial number, that allows you to quickly identify, oh, someone did this already, and you can catch and, and prevent the duplication. So in this case, we're going to delete that. That's okay. And so now we have this. We've got stations. We've got everything completed. We, But in this one, we don't have the number of tests. And... Uh, we don't have the values so we would want to go in and make those changes and here's a screwdriver it's an adjustable it's in chances um, tool capacity we have all of that test parameters ah here we go we have zero for the number of tests we want five tests on our torque screwdrivers and in this particular case because it's an adjustable we want to test at three points and we want to use peak mode for testing screw. Target is nominal test values, the specific target. These are the values where we're going to test this. We're going to test it at 20%, comma. We're going to test it at 60, comma, and we're going to test it at 100. And so since, the, since this is inch ounces, we're going to test this at 20 inch ounces, 60 inch ounces, and 100 inch ounces. We're good. We can close. Okay. Now that we've done that, close out of here. And let's take a look at test equipment. We've got two menu items. We can look at testers. We've got a Torktronics 2 tester that is connected. If we wanted to add a new tester, we'd click on insert, and then we would add the serial number, the vendor. Of course, you want to be using Sturdivant Richmond testers. They are the best. The model of the tester and then the service date. So in this particular case, we're gonna add a system aid. And, and then the service date, we click OK. And then this happens to be a 30070, um, and this vendor is SR. So let's complete that. And then now let's take a look at the transducers. And we're gonna add the, the transducer number, and this is gonna be an 010098. We wanna click insert. And then you can see the serial numbers 100980. The model, this is an STT10I, capacity 10 inch pounds service date 7 15 2020 last calibration date 7 15 2020 next calibration date we want to take this get this thing in 7 1 2021 and make sure that we can get everything in get it tested and get it back out onto the floor notice here that it's for this tester number. We're gonna tie, when we hit okay, we're gonna tie this tester, which we've said is a system eight, we're gonna tie that to that serial number up at the top. So let's hit okay. And now we can see our serial numbers, our capacity, and all of it. So now we've got two testers in the system, but we wanna stick with the Torktronics. So here we're gonna close and now we're going to take a look at cert headers. This is very simple. You simply add, click on something. In this case, we're going to change, or we could click insert. It's going to bring up the same window. You're going to be able to put the information in that you want to put in. Okay. We're going to close that. And then we're going to come over here to the main list of manufacturers. Now, we hope you're only using Sturdivant Richmond tools and testers, but we know sometimes you do use another brand, you can put that in and, and track those as well. And that'll give you a good indication of how well Sturdivant Richmond tools hold up and how the other guys hold up. Close out of there. 
And then we're going to come over here. Here's the other place. Remember when we were back here under security and user management, we brought up this window. Here we bring up a slightly different window. Taking a look at all of the tools and tests, we've looked at the test equipment, we've looked at the CalCert headers, we've looked at our list of manufacturers, our list of operators, and of course, print setup. Now the next section is quick test. In order to use quick test, you'll need to know the serial number of a tool, and you bring it up by the serial number. If you don't have that, there are other ways to get to testing, and I'm going to show you what those are. We can come over here and we can come over here to tool schedule and we can see that this one this tool is scheduled for 913 so we can go new test and bring it up and this brings up the new test window and if you take a look at this you'll recognize that a lot of the information that we entered when we use the new tool wizard that same information is in this window so I'm walking you through everything. By the way, down here, the shunt value, we used to have a feature where we had a special capacitor on the transducers, and um, that way you could run a, a shunt test and make sure that everything was, was right where it should be. And things were right where they should be so many times that customers just simply stopped using it. So we don't really use that function anymore and we come down here and we have continued test and in this case we're gonna we're gonna close out of this because we have a separate testing video that we're gonna take you to we've been through everything we have led you up to quick test it's important to take a look at local setup this is um, two important things one is we're gonna be looking at the testers and here we we were connected to a Torktronics 2, here's the serial number, um, the number of cert copies to print, we've got temperature and the test interval, and then the other thing we can do is we can adjust the timing. Here we have the auto clear time set to three seconds. Local setup is important. And then the other thing to look at is email settings. And basically, if you're gonna be emailing, if you're gonna be emailing CalCerts, the local setup is the place that right here to set up all of the email so that once your test is, is complete, you hit the button, you put the, the two, you attach it and uh, make sure that you're sending from your email, you hit OK anyway. Edit is simply cut, copy and paste. Reports. Here are some reports and this is important here. If you want to trace something, you get down here, you get look, the list of manufacturers. In a third place, <laughs> that list of operators won't go away, will it, right? We got it over here. <laughs> we've got the list of operators over here, and then we've got it in security under user management. And here, we're going to export the tests. Test data can be exported in a CSV format. Um, you, and we can organize it by serial number, by date, and we can email the exported files. So we've been through security, user management, you've already seen that. If you're going to change a password, that's done here. And then utilities, and this is important. This is a really great feature, the Torque Translator. So right now, we're going to measure, we were looking at our exact torque which is a hundred inch ounce so we're going to start with a hundred inch ounces and we're going to set this to 60 uh, so we have 60 inch ounces and then we're going to translate that into newton meters because the person who's requested that we hit go and it tells you that those 60 inch ounces amounts to 0.42 newton meters. So the torque translator is a great piece of functionality here. And a lot of times, you know, the wrench has, the wrench might have one capacity, the torque spec might require another one. 
You simply use your Torque Translator and you can solve it. You can get the answer quickly and more important, you get it accurately. We're going to test the COM port here. Um, in doing so, we're looking for the Torktronics 2 because that's what we've set up. It is on, on uh, COM port 3 and it found that. Let's go over here. This is a, an important function here. This is the terminal setting. Sturdivant, Richmond, Torktronics 2, and System 8 have fail-safe engineering built into them. And if you have an overload, which you take the tester, the transducer to 120% or more of the rated capacity, fail-safe engineering automatically kicks in. It's an eight-step protocol, which is designed to call everyone's attention to the fact that this transducer has been over-torqued and it could be damaged and it needs to be checked. You'll see some indicators on the tester. The, the top line on the display will say OV 120%. The uh, lower of the two LEDs on the left-hand side of the a tester next to the display. The lower one will be flashing red. It will continue to flash red as long as it has power. And in the lower left-hand corner of the display where it normally says OK or bad, it just says OVL. Any test that you conduct will uh, come up as OVL in the uh, reporting. That way you can identify which tests were done that may be suspect. Resetting the overload flag is very easy and um, we've got a separate video that will show you how to do that but this is where it's done and then the last thing that we want to show you here in utilities is the COM port settings. We know that this computer, all computers are different, the serial port is on COM port 3 so we use that We've got, we're connected to the Torktronics 2, and you can see if we're trying to find some other units, we can identify them. We've got the baud rate, parity, the data, and the stop bits. So all of that's good. Window here, it's just that. This is important. Help, uh, we've got contents. We've got all of this help on the right-hand side. If you need it, it's available. And certainly Sturdivant Richmond tech support is also happy to help you. We've covered a lot of information. Uh, we've covered all the things that the system will do for you. We've taken a look at the tools in the tests. We've, looking at, we've looked at test equipment. We've looked at the calcerts that this produces. We've looked at the reports. We've looked at testing. Remember, you have to have the serial number. How to set up the test station and everything else. So there's two more videos that you should watch, and one of them is actual testing, and then the other one is resetting the overload. You'll want to watch those two, the testing and the resetting the overload uh, flag. So that's it. Thanks for buying our testers. We have found that our testers last an incredibly long time. Uh, we have testers that are out in the field that are 30 years old and they still work and they get used every day. So you should get plenty of use out of those testers. If you need anything else, please call us at 847-455-8677 or contact your local Sturdivant Richmond distributor or sales professional. Thanks. Thanks.